As the largest hydroelectric dam in the world, the Three Gorges Dam generates up to 100 billion kWh of electricity every year, enough to reshape the global energy landscape. Towering over the Three Gorges Valley like a modern fortress, this two-kilometer-long structure has transformed the once-raging Yangtze River into a stable power source that fuels all of eastern China. Every second, millions of cubic meters of water crash against the dam, unleashing massive force that drives 32 turbines in a powerful mechanical rhythm few places on Earth can match. Behind this sheer scale lies a story of ambition, engineering, and decisions capable of changing a nation's destiny. But what pushed China to take on such an enormous challenge? And what secrets lie behind the largest wall of water on the planet? With its massive scale, the Three Gorges Dam has become the backbone of an entire hydropower ecosystem along the Yangtze Valley. Standing taller than a 60-story building, it creates a reservoir so large that it has reshaped the entire landscape of the Three Gorges region. At full operation, this mega dam can cut up to 100 million tons of carbon emissions each year and regulate the river flow for a region home to more than 400 million people, an impact far beyond what raw numbers can convey. Its greatest influence and also its quietest is flood control. Before the dam existed, the Yangtze Basin suffered multiple historic floods. In 1931, floods killed more than 145,000 people directly. In 1954, the death toll surpassed 30,000. And by 1998, raging water swept away thousands of villages, took over 3,000 lives, and caused China tens of billions of dollars in losses. These numbers explain why China felt compelled to build a water shield strong enough to tame one of Asia's most unpredictable and destructive rivers. The construction journey of the Three Gorges Dam truly began in 1994, when engineers started preparing a foundation strong enough to support a concrete structure 2,145 meters long, 181 meters tall, and nearly 115 meters thick at its base. A mass that must withstand the pressure of billions of tons of water pushing against it every day. To achieve this, tens of thousands of workers had to remove an enormous volume of earth and rock, carving out deep foundation pits that reached down to bedrock layers of granite hundreds of millions of years old. Each foundation pit functioned like a geological cross-section, exposing the backbone of the Three Gorges Valley, where only solid, unfractured bedrock could support a mega dam of this scale. Here, a massive network of grout holes stretching thousands of meters was drilled and injected with cement slurry, bonding the entire rock foundation into a single, unified block and sealing even the tiniest cracks so that water could not seep through. Every section of the foundation was monitored with geotechnical sensors to ensure no weak points existed. It is this mountain-solid foundation that became the footing for the entire megastructure, allowing the Three Gorges Dam to stand firm against the powerful, surging force of the Yangtze River for decades. Once the bedrock had been transformed into a stable foundation, the concrete pouring phase of the Three Gorges Dam unfolded like a river of materials flowing through the construction site. Overhead, the steel arms of 20 tower cranes constantly swung back and forth, lifting and lowering batch after batch of concrete into more than 230 pouring blocks stretching along the former riverbed. On the ground, mixer trucks and pumping systems worked in perfect rhythm, delivering the heavy gray mixture to its precise locations as if the entire site were breathing to a single heartbeat. Every layer of concrete had to meet strict standards for thickness, moisture and curing speed, because even the slightest deviation could create weak points in the entire structure. Inside each block, a cooling pipe system reached deep into the core to keep temperatures stable and prevent expansion-related cracking. Surrounding it, geotechnical sensors captured even the smallest movements. Subtle signals invisible to the eye, but critical to the safety of the dam. Day after day, new layers of concrete were poured over the previous ones, tier by tier, until the total volume placed surpassed 28 million cubic meters, forming an enormous rock-solid mass ready for the next stages of the Three Gorges megaproject. Before the project could move on to construction at higher elevations, 
engineers had to solve the most critical challenge, how to relocate the entire Yangtze River into a temporary passage while still handling its massive flow. To do this, a system of diversion tunnels was built as a strategic phase of the project, consisting of three tunnels carved deep into the mountainside. Each tunnel stretched more than 900 meters in length and stood 18 meters high, large enough to let the river pass through at speeds of up to 11,000 cubic meters per second. During construction, over 1.2 million cubic meters of earth and rock were removed using drilling and mechanical cutting to avoid any vibrations that could affect the bedrock foundation. Once the river was fully diverted into these tunnels, the original riverbed instantly became a dry work surface, protected by coffer dams and high-capacity pumping stations that kept conditions stable regardless of rain or flood season. As if a massive architectural form were slowly taking shape in the valley, the body of the Three Gorges Dam began to rise layer by layer with each new lift of concrete. Across a construction site spanning more than 100,000 square meters, steel scaffolding, hydraulic lifting platforms, and mobile gantry cranes formed a dense web of equipment, allowing thousands of workers to operate at multiple elevations at the same time. This enormous structure was reinforced with more than 400,000 tons of steel tied together across 28 dam segments running along the mountainside, creating a solid metal skeleton before each new layer of concrete was added. Each segment of the dam body was raised by one to two meters per cycle, forming giant steps pressed against the cliffs on both sides. Expansion joints were strategically placed to disperse stress, while shear resistant steel plates tightened each connection to ensure the entire dam operated as a unified structure. As it rose, the structure gradually tapered toward the crest, where the top width narrowed to just 40 meters, reaching the designed height of 185 meters. The critical milestone needed to create a reservoir holding nearly 39 billion cubic meters of water behind it. The project was nearing its final design elevation when the mechanical heart of the Three Gorges Dam entered its installation phase, a process that demanded an extraordinary level of precision achieved by only a handful of hydroelectric projects worldwide. Deep inside the mountain, enormous turbine halls opened up like underground cathedrals, where components weighing hundreds of tons were lowered into place by overhead gantry cranes running along the roof of each chamber. Inside these halls, 32 generating units, each capable of producing 700 men on were assembled in a strict step-by-step -step sequence. The first component installed was the nearly 20-meter tall vertical shaft, which connects directly to the high-pressure penstock. Then came the guide vane ring in the bearing assemblies, anchored with massive bolts to form the mechanical backbone of the entire system. With the frame completed, the 450-ton rotor was lowered by the main crane and aligned using laser calibration, keeping deviations within just a few thousandths of a millimeter. Surrounding it, the copper wound stator rings were installed layer by layer, forming an electromagnetic chamber so precise that even the slightest error could induce vibration throughout the unit. Once rotor and stator aligned perfectly, a network of water and air cooling pipes was connected to keep temperatures stable during continuous operation. Right beneath the thick concrete layers of the dam, where the mechanical framework has been finished down to the millimeter, the massive turbine assemblies begin to take shape like steel hearts, preparing for a lifetime of operation. Here, the 9.7-meter Francis turbines, manufactured by Dongfang Electric and Harbin Electric, are transported on heavy haul convoys and lowered into the underground powerhouse using specialized lifting cranes. When fully assembled with the vertical shaft, runner, and pressure casing, each turbine unit weighs roughly 6,000 tons, becoming the starting point of the entire energy conversion process. Water from the reservoir is channeled through a pressure tunnel more than 12 meters wide, crashing directly into the runner at tremendous velocity, which is why the hundreds-ton rotor above must be aligned with laser systems to keep deviations within just a few thousandths of a millimeter. Inside the rotor, hundreds of pure copper windings operate under constant monitoring from magnetic field sensors to ensure peak generation efficiency. Outside the powerhouse, the electricity is fed into plus far 500 kV ultra-high voltage transmission lines, sending the Yangtze River's power hundreds of kilometers across eastern China.
to light up entire cities. Among the thousands of components built for the Three Gorges Dam, the turbine shaft is one of the parts that demands near-absolute precision. It must transmit all the rotational force from the water-driven runner up to the hundreds-ton rotor above, operating for decades without deviating by more than a few thousandths of a millimeter. Its journey begins at the heavy forging shops of Dongfang Electric and Harbin Electric, where alloy steel billets are heated to over 1 200 degree until they glow bright yellow. The point at which the metal reaches ideal plasticity, the billet is then placed under hydraulic presses with tens of thousands of tons of force, each slow, powerful stroke shaping the solid shaft, nearly 20 meters long and weighing 300 mosh or 350 tons, into a dense, seamless block of steel. Every forging cycle is monitored with load sensors, thermal cameras, and deformation gauges to ensure uniform grain structure, with no cracks or twisting. Critical requirements for a 700 Monomio turbine unit. Once the rough shape is complete, the shaft moves to multi-axis CNC centers, where ultra-hard carbide cutters machine each surface to tolerances of just a few thousandths of a millimeter. Keyways, bearing seats and coupling faces are finished to a mirror-smooth surface. Before leaving the factory, the shaft undergoes ultrasonic testing, eddy current inspection, and 3D optical measurements to verify perfect straightness. Only after passing all these checks is it loaded onto a heavy haul convoy and sent to the Three Gorges construction site. Inside the heavy manufacturing halls of Dongfang Electric and Harbin Electric, the Francis turbine runner for the Three Gorges Dam is built as a component requiring near-perfect precision. With a diameter of nearly 9.7 meters and a mass of several hundred tons, it must withstand high-velocity water impact for decades while maintaining its shape and balance. Its journey begins with alloy steel billets inspected by ultrasonic and magnetic testing to ensure no microscopic defects. Once approved, the billet moves to multi-axis CNC machines where ultra-hard carbide cutters shape each blade along digitally simulated hydrodynamic curves with tolerances of only a few thousandths of a millimeter, crucial for smooth water flow and maximum torque. After rough machining, every blade is polished with ultra-fine compounds to reduce friction and eliminate cavitation. The finished runner then undergoes 3D optical measurement to verify perfect balance across all blades, essential for a 700 mm unit. The final step is hydraulic testing in a pressure tank simulating Three Gorges Reservoir flow. Only after passing all checks is the runner cleared for delivery to the site. Once the dam reached its operating elevation and all 32 turbine units were installed, the Three Gorges system entered full operation at a scale few hydroelectric projects can match. Water from the Yangtze flows through massive intake gates and into pressure tunnels more than 12 meters wide before crashing onto the runners below. The powerful swirl of water drives the turbine shafts and rotors at a steady speed, generating electricity through hundreds of copper windings inside the stator. Upstream, the Three Gorges Reservoir stretches for hundreds of kilometers, maintaining its design level of 175 meters and storing enough water to power all 32 units each rated at 700 mollet for a total output of nearly 22,500 monosermellers, still the largest in the world. Water levels are adjusted seasonally, allowing the dam to maximize power production while also reducing flood risks for more than 400 million people living downstream. During operation, thousands of sensors installed throughout the dam body, foundations, pressure tunnels, and reservoir monitor water pressure, structural vibration, and inflow. All data is sent to the central control center and synchronized with a plus 500 kV ultra high voltage transmission network, sending electricity hundreds of kilometers to cities across eastern China. Through the coordination of reservoir management, turbines, and grid control, the Three Gorges Dam functions like a giant water engine, turning the force of the Yangtze River into a stable power source for an entire region. Today, the Three Gorges Dam is not only the largest hydroelectric project in the world, but also a testament to how humans can harness the power of a wild, unstoppable river to fuel modern life.
From the deep swirling currents beneath the turbines to the electricity flowing through ultra-high voltage lines all night long, every detail shows a rare harmony between engineering and nature. If you enjoy inspiring technological journeys like this, make sure to hit like and follow Mandarin Tech for more.